The Construction Sector Transparency Initiative is a country-centered multi-stakeholder initiative designed to promote transparency and accountability in publicly financed infrastructure development projects. Around the world, the Construction Sector Transparency Initiative is strengthening transparency in the construction sector through enhanced disclosure of material project information to the public throughout the construction project life cycle. The main objective is to help countries deliver better value from public infrastructure by way of delivering good quality infrastructure projects at lower cost with increased predictability of outcomes. The construction sector contributes to national development through provision of structures and services that are crucial to other key development areas like agriculture, education, public health, energy, and mining. In Malawi, the Construction Sector Transparency Initiative has played a vital role in improving transparency and accountability in the construction sector. Malawi is among the poorest countries in the world with a rapidly growing population yet it has inadequate physical and social infrastructure such as roads, schools and hospitals to support its population particularly in the rural areas where 88% of the population live. A recent Transparency International report on Corruption Perception Index shows Malawi's worsening situation with a drop from position 88 to 91 out of 177 countries. Public infrastructure development projects are therefore prone to corruption and mismanagement due to a number of factors including size and technical complexity, extensive approval processes, easy concealment of substandard quality, poor management practices, and many more. Malawi is therefore working hard to fight corruption at all levels including the construction sector. The country's infrastructure is underdeveloped and a lot of resources from the government, private sector and individuals are being injected into the construction sector in water, energy, housing, transport, telecommunications and irrigation subsectors. Quality infrastructure reduces production and transaction costs which in turn increases competitiveness of businesses and therefore act as vehicles for implementing economic and social development policies. The 2010 Baseline Study marked the beginning of Malawi's journey in the Construction Sector Transparency Initiative because it highlighted existing transparency and accountability interventions in procurement, legislation and institutional capacity. Some of the findings were transparency requirements aimed at participants in the tender market and not informing the public about the projects, little requirements for transparency in projects, no requirement for disclosure for changes to contract time or cost, and disclosure falling short of requirements by law. The cost initiative carried out a national study on a number of uh, construction projects in the five sectors of uh, construction, that's energy, mining, irrigation, health and education, and found out that most of the information that is released to the public only relates to the tender and the award of contracts and that actual disclosures of information is limited to the award process. In spite of various interventions of ensuring transparency and accountability in Malawi in the construction sector, there still remains challenges in the quality of infrastructure projects, costs involved, and disclosure of material project information to the public on government finance construction projects. This is why several development initiatives recommended rapid development policies to change the status quo. For instance, the recently commissioned Public Service Reform Commission recommends the relaunch of the Vision 2020, which has been implemented using short-term strategies including MGDs 1 and 2. MGDs 2 isolates infrastructure development as one key priority area for reducing poverty and achieving sustainable socio-economic development. As a country, we are having challenges in completing the projects within the agreed time. So for instance, we are achieving more than 100% uh, time overruns. For example, if a project which is supposed to be completed in three years gets completed in, for, for example, six years or so double the original time, 
in a similar way, we have some projects that also exceed uh, uh, with the cost overruns, for instance, more than 20 percent, which is a worrisome uh, uh, development for the country. Since 2010, the role of construction sector transparency initiative in Malawi has focused on improving the quality of infrastructure projects, ensuring cost effectiveness and disclosure to the public in order to achieve social and economic development of the country. Examples of construction projects where construction sector transparency initiative has promoted transparency and accountability are Northern Region Water Board Project, Malawi Housing Corporation, Chilumba Garrison, and Area 49 Housing Projects, Road Authority Maintenance Works, and Rehabilitation of Pavid Roads. Chingani is chairperson of the multi-stakeholder group of Construction Sector Transparency Initiative. The logic and the philosophy of cost is that we would want public funds that are channeled into construction works to add value and that the end result should be achieving value for money on all projects. We are encouraging transparency because we believe that government are accountable to its citizens in as far as infrastructure programs are concerned. Cost is founded on principles that reflect a shared stakeholder commitment to transparency and accountability. Cost believes that the government is responsible for providing reliable and safe infrastructure through enhanced transparency and accountability. The Construction Sector Transparency Initiative works with a number of stakeholders. There are a number of stakeholders, including the ODPP, which is the Public uh, Office of the Director of Public Procurement. There is Anti-Corruption Bureau, there is African Institute of Corporate Citizenship, there is a Human Rights Conservative Committee, there is MERGIN, which is the Malawi Economic Justice Network. Our role as ACB is that we are the body that is established to coordinate the fight against corruption in Malawi and specifically to promote transparency and accountability because where there is transparency and accountability there is less corruption and since the post initiative is aimed at promoting transparency and accountability we support the initiative and more specifically because it is dealing with the construction sector where according to Transparency International the levels of corruption are very high due to the technical nature of the sector. Our major role is to ensure that the procuring agencies have followed the proper procedures, have followed the proper legal framework. That is why when we are coming in to ensure that the law, both the NCIC Act and the PPA, which is Public Procurement Act, has been followed. Our major role is to ensure that the procurement of works is done in a manner which is transparent and accountable. The cost initiative requires political support and it is for this reason that the Vice President of the Republic of Malawi is the cost champion. Cost also attributes a great deal to the reduction of waste in public infrastructure budgets. It enables fairer competition in the private sector and increased opportunities for investors. I therefore consider cost as a catalyst for driving change in the way of doing business relating to construction projects in Malawi. Let me say, the change does not happen by thinking. Change happens by changing. It has, again, pleased His Excellency the President to entrust me with this noble role of champion for this very important initiative as Cost Malawi Champion. I commit myself to champion the Cost Agenda wholeheartedly in this country. Even if the Construction Sector Transparency Initiative is being implemented in Malawi, the construction sector 
still has transparency and accountability gaps which require all stakeholders to work together. The question is, what will the Construction Sector Transparency Initiative do in the coming years in order to strengthen the sector? Coast Malawi has developed a three-year business plan that will run from 2015 to 2018. Uh, the aim of the business plan is to make sure that cost principles are mainstreamed in procuring entities or government agencies who are responsible for implementing publicly financed projects. In Malawi, cost has achieved commendable milestones. In 2012, it received over 125,000 US dollars from the African Development Bank. And in 2014, Malawi became the second country to conduct an assurance study on public infrastructure projects. The importance of strengthening transparency and accountability in the construction sector cannot be overemphasized. This sector is of paramount importance to the development of Malawi. It is therefore imperative that stakeholders in the construction industry join hands in order to create synergies for the benefit of Malawians from the public resources. Thank you.